Hey, what's happening, guys? I don't know if a lot of you are going to remember this, but last year, me, B Blood, uh, Dr. George, and a couple of other guys were working on this project for the Arduino Precision Ohm Meter. And it was just a little exercise that started out as, as a way, you know, because an Arduino can only read voltage. So how are we going to get it to read um, resistance? Well, you know, we obviously you have to use Ohm's law. So then we need to know what the current is going to be and what the voltage is going to be. And if we know those two things, well then we should be pretty good to roll and there shouldn't be any trouble. We can figure out the values. Well, we, we put the original one together and it works okay. But we've got an idea. Actually, this was uh, B Blood's idea. And that is to add in this guy right here. This is the Max uh, 6350 uh, Precision Voltage Reference. Let's uh, take a look at that for a second. So this is kind of a pricey uh, little chip, but basically what it's going to allow us to do is very precisely know the voltage that we are testing our unknown resistor with and if we know the voltage and we know the current well then we can figure out the resistance so you can see here here's a, a typical operating circuit it simply has in out and ground we'll put a little uh, capacitor in there bypass capacitor and you know that's really all there is to it here's some features on it if you're interested in such a thing like this but I just wanted to point that out to you that's the IC that we're going to add into this board there's not going to be any outwardly noticeable effect of adding the IC onto this board the effect is going to be the fact that the whole system is going to be that much more precise so that's what we're hoping for anyway here is a look at the circuit board I haven't really redrawn it this is still just a, a version of version 1.0 but there's that max 6350 chip in there here's a bit of a 3d view of what the entire thing is going to look like. Give you the back of the board here. Nothing particularly special going on there. You can see the, uh, I mean, there's the tracks, then there's the uh, ground plane. All right, so let's order some of these up from PCB Way. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, and it's no secret they're a major sponsor of this channel. And the reason I signed up with them is that they are a superb company to work with. And better than that, they are turning into a one-stop electronics backroom for hobbyists and small businesses. Not only can you get your PCB prototype done there, you can have them 3D print you a case. Need something in uh, flexible boards? They got it. You need PCB assembly? They got that too. You need HDI PCBs? You got the money? Honey, they got the time. They'll even do CNC machining if you need a specialized part. Like I said, they're becoming a one-stop complete back room for the electronics hobbyist and small business. As usual, PCB Way came through with beautiful boards in just over a week. Yeah, I know these are dated from November and it's uh, April now. I just haven't got to them. Here is the old board. And here is the new so that you can see the difference. It's mainly going to be in this section right here. We'll add in the uh, voltage reference. And some capacitors for it now I don't have these little <clears throat> MOSFETs that B blood sent so I'm gonna have to pull these out of here and reuse them hopefully I can get them out okay shouldn't be a problem 
especially thanks to my good friend, Dr. Quincy. All right, those little MOSFETs were successfully liberated from the other board. And now I will implant them here. I'm just going to do this one on camera. I feel like <laughs> you guys have seen me solder before. So once we get this one in place, we will move on. All right, we got the MOSFETs in, no trouble. And now we're just going to put in the non-precision resistors that are just being used to bias different parts of the circuit. The values of these resistors are nominal, and, um, you know, the final calculation of the program and of the, the entire thing isn't tied to these non-precision resistors in any way. I don't know why I went through all that trouble to explain all that, because you probably don't care, but I don't know. I just thought I'd share that a little bit with you so that you understood there are two types of resistors here. I was really not wanting to take any solder. We have the non-precision precision resistors that we're using for things, like I said, you know, biasing those MOSFETs. And then we have the precision section, which we need to know the exact values of. These are 1K resistors. If they come out in, you know, 980 or 1020, it, it's not a big deal because that is close enough for what they need to do. But if this one that we're counting on being 5.1K or 5,000, 100 ohms and it comes out to be 5200 ohms well then now we're going to have a calculation error that is going to be amplified as this thing goes through its processes so we want to avoid that by using precision resistors measuring their resistance and inputting that into part of the program that allows us to, you know, count on these types of things. All right, so those are in. Now we just got to throw in the 100 ohm resistors. This is the boring part, I know. Come back when it's done. All right, so now I'm going to put in our first precision resistor, and that's the 330 ohm resistor. These I also salvaged from the original board just because, like I said, I don't have any of these around. Now, for most of these, I could get by with using a regular resistor and getting the compensation. Hang on. All right, let's solder this one in. 
before it falls out. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in regards to the compensation. You just fell out, didn't you? Almost. Okay. All right. Hang on for a second. Right here in the setup section, you can see R2, R3, R4, R5, and R6. Those are the resistor values that have been actually measured with an ohm meter, and that allows us to be as precise as we can. All right, here's the next one up in our list, which is the 5.1K. <laughs> Get it in there. There we go. Oh, it fell out. Of course it fell out. Here's a somewhat dubious but useful technique that you can use when you're transplanting components and you you know that they've been stressed just about all they can take so you don't want to be bending them or butchering them any more than you have to what you can do is sit the component in that case it's that resistor right there into its holes and do a little topside soldering This is impractical to do in a production type of situation, but in a repair situation or prototyping, it's just fine and the solder joints look great. No worries at all. All right, I don't have the voltage reference and it should still work without it. So let's, uh, let's get it put together here. All we need to do now power it up. Hmm. You know, I'm not getting anything at all. Should be getting something on the screen. Hmm. So maybe you have to have resistor plugged into it. Shouldn't. Looks like I got a bad solder joint there. Look. That shouldn't happen. Let's take care of that. I reflowed that joint there. Those joints. Now you can see there's no movement. Hopefully that fixed the problem, otherwise I'm going to be really confused. There we go. All right. Now let's test it out. Okay, I shut out some of the lights to kind of make it easier to read. So this should be a 1 meg resistor. Plug it into the that slot we'll power it up and what do we get one meg you okay
One meg. There we go. So, good. Let's try another one. I got another one here. This one is... Should be 68K. Put it in there. Hit the reset button. Sixty seven point seven kilo ohms. That ain't nothing to uh shake a stick at. That's working out all right. I'm pretty proud of that. So I'm gonna send this board along with the blank board down to B Blood in Florida. And uh Dr. Quincy already has a board. So we will go from there. Again, B Blood has these chips, I don't. So perhaps he'll record a little something for us and show us what's up. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and sponsoring this channel. Couldn't do it without them. That's it. I'm out. Peace.